I'm Joshua Santosalo. I with SecureWorks. Uh, I'm a senior principal security researcher. Uh, my specialty is Microsoft Cloud, especially the cloud security research and working in conjunction with uh, MSRC, that's uh, Microsoft Security Response Center, and uh, with our detection teams and, and research teams. Uh, that kind of summarizes what my role is in SecureWorks. So basically I've done cyber because it's so interesting and uh, gives you this uh, mindset where you can view things from all sides, sort of ambivalent. And uh, you just get a perspective in cyber that I'm not sure you could get in another field, or at least uh, that applies to me. You know, I would probably say that the password spraying type attacks are the most common ones because they are highly automated and uh, they will typically get in uh, the tenants where the passwords are, are fairly simple and there is no multi-factor authentication on. So, so these kind of automated attacks must be the most common type. And uh, the prevention is fairly simple, at least uh, the, the first stage, you can just really enforce the MFA on all possible vectors. And, and by MFA, I mean the multi-factor authentication. So, so and, and this topic has been uh, up, up. It's, it's not a new tip, but it's still the number one tip. So I think it's, it's a good answer, nonetheless. I would say that uh, the importance is very high uh, because you get this uh, cross-team, cross-competence view and you learn both in both sides new things, new approaches. Uh, I work with our uh, engineering and uh, also with the detection teams in our counter threat units. So these two teams would be probably where my uh, biggest part of work is, but also uh, the incident response team. That's one of the main teams I, I work with and I feel that uh, that's where I can do most impact. I think on this front of various incidents, uh, what I'll try to answer is, it's not how I resolved it, but how it can be resolved before it happens. That's basically uh, the proactive approach. And uh, that is by having basics on the access control and logging on. So with access control, you're closing all the gaps that you are aware of. And with logging at its like best effort uh, setting, you're trying to also catch all gaps, once again, which you are aware of. So those two are probably something that would have prevented a lot of the attacks. Uh, that being said, there are also attacks that are based on zero days. So as such, they are impossible to defend for with the uh, assumption that you can know the zero day beforehand, obviously. So uh, defense in depth is something that helps you stop those types of attacks. Basically, having another measure as a fallback to the first vector.